The market is a way for students and teachers to explore how the stock market works by purchasing virtual shares of real companies. Students and classes can work together to achieve a classroom goal or compete against one another to see who makes the best investments. So if you're a teacher, um, this, this game or this stock market simulation is a very powerful tool to teach about the stock market and to teach about financial literacy. Many of you might not know this, but I have my own sixth grade classroom and they went crazy over this because they love the competition. Um, it's an investing competition and students in sixth and seventh and eighth grade, um, they just, they're, they're so interested in things like the stock market and this is a way for them to, you know, sort of gain an introduction to the stock market while competing against their classmates in a friendly environment. So if you're a teacher, the first thing that you want to do um, to enable your class to um, compete or to just get a sense of the stock market is to click where it says classroom settings for teachers. Okay, and you'll, you'll see here that there are two options to create a class and manage a class. And if you haven't um, created a class yet, that's the first thing you need to do, create a new class. So you're gonna put a class name. Um, let's do, if it's me, I'm gonna do my, my name, which is Nussbaum, and I'm gonna click create a class password, which I don't think there's, there's no, there's no, um, no restrictions on passwords. So I'm gonna, 1975. I'm gonna write down my password is 1975 because I need to remember that later. Um, I'm gonna click submit. And this is very important. I'm gonna get a code that I'm gonna have to share with my students. And this way, once I share this code with my students, all of my students are in the same class. They all type in the same code when they set up their own accounts. And that way they'll be able to compete and they'll be able to see each other's rankings. So here, my code is SJAR72. And the same code will need to be distributed to all of the students that you want to participate in this. Okay, so now, let's just see. If I go back to classroom settings and I go to manage a class, I've now made my class. My class code was SJAR72 and my password was 1975 and I click submit. And I don't, it says, this is what sort of my, as a teacher, my account looks like. Once my students sign up, I'll have a whole list of students. You'll always have their access codes in, in case they forget their code. Um, and they'll all be ranked as far as their, uh, their total values go. All right, so I'm done here. Now, um, let's say I am one of your students. So let's, when you, te when you have your students go to this, they are gonna go to start a new portfolio. They're gonna, they're gonna have to use, they're gonna put their name first. Let's say, and you can only do three letters. So let's say my son's name's Gabriel, so G-A-B, do all capitals. And the class code, they only have to use this once. The class code is S-J-A, R72. He's he's got to put I have read and agree with the disclaimer below, which simply states that you understand that this is not real. This is just a simulation. So I click submit, and Gabriel is now connected to your account. JB is now connected to your account. Um, how do kids start investing? It's simple. There are four tabs here. This is their account. This is like their account snapshot. This is the market, and they're gonna click on the market. And this is where the real financial literacy is learned, is they see the different country, uh, companies. There's like 25 different companies. We didn't include all companies on the stock market. We included some of the biggest ones. Price per share. This is the volume. How many shares of this company are trading today? How, um, this is the change in price in dollars since the previous close of business. The percentage change since previous close the shares owned by a particular student, this student, and the value of those. So to buy stocks, simply click the plus. And you have 100, every student will have $100,000 to start. And I'm looking at 3M stocks that are $209.59 per share. Let's buy 200 of them. That'll cost me 41,928 of my dollars. 
As you see, I, have a, I also have to pay a $10 commission. I confirm purchase. And you see, I now have $41,118 in investments and $58,000 to still invest. Let's go to Walmart. Walmart's at $75.33 per share. Let's also buy $200. Let's buy a little bit more. Let's buy $500. Want to buy $500? Yes. Well, might as well make it $600. Total price $45,208, I confirm purchase. And now I have $87,000 plus in total investments and $12,884 available in savings. Now, the idea is for students to, you know, look through the stocks, buy uh, the ones that interest them, and they should be checking on this every day, maybe every other day, a couple times a week to see if their portfolio is going up or down. There's a sell option. I can sell. Uh, this is when you know I've made some money in the market and I want to cash in. And of course, the idea of the stock market is to, in the end, have um, you know the most amount of money um, in investments and available savings combined. There's a great help section up here. If you ever run into any problems or you have some questions, this help section explains everything in an animation. Um, other tabs here for students research this is just some links to sites that might help them do some research on the stocks and the rankings okay this is when, when all the students in the class have signed up they'll get to see uh how they're uh doing compared to their classmates and again my students went nuts over this they wanted to check this every 10 15 minutes and their stock values you know dynamically update as the stock market does it's actually this this the market's actually keyed into the actual stock market so it changes with the real stock market it actually is based on the real values of the real stocks anyway very important here when students are done for the day or they're done for the moment is they have to save and exit they're gonna get a code. This is the only code they'll need from now on. And it'll change. This code will be different every time they update their portfolio. They'll have to write down the new code. Their updated code will also be in your account in case they forget. So here is SARF87. So if I'm Gabriel and I wanna come back in 30 minutes, this is the only code I need. I type this code in, I click, uh, I do my adjustments, I click save and exit, and I'll get a new code that I'll have to write down. Okay, so anyway, done, done. Now let's go, let's look back at the classroom um, classroom settings. So if I wanna go back and manage my class, my class code, if I remember, was SJAR72. My password was 1975. So now I can see all the action from all of my students. And you see here, um, I can see everything Gabriel has done. His portfolio is worth $86,800, um, and he still has $12,884 in saving. The total value is what's super important here. Um, now, I can see that the access code, in case he forgets that access code, I have access to it. Um, I can see my class code, in case a student has trouble signing up. The only thing they really need is that class code. So in this way, all of my students are connected to my account and they're all connected to each other. And as their portfolios rise and fall, they will see their position change in the rankings tab. And again, students in sixth grade and up will flip over this. They will love this. It's a great way to teach financial literacy, to give an introduction to the stock market, to how you know, basic economics works. So I hope you give this a chance. Um, I'd love to know about any competitions you're running in your classroom and how they're going.